www.theoshea.com vegan author, um, coach and conscious consumer. And today I am bringing you into my kitchen because we're going to make a Buddha bowl. Now the reason for this is yesterday I was talking to um, a lady and this, I happened to mention Buddha bowl and she gave me a funny sort of look and said, what's a Buddha bowl? So I thought, great idea, let's go and let's make one for uh, my YouTube followers. So the idea of a Buddha bowl is just a single bowl and, uh, and in it is all your goodness. So your proteins, your uh, vitamins and minerals and that sort of stuff is all within the one meal and it is a complete meal. It's also known as a glory bowl and, uh, or a hippie bowl. But they're brilliant, and you can have them for summer or winter, doesn't matter, you can have them any time. Now, it's a super dupe thing for lunch, I really like making them for lunch. And it's summer here in New Zealand, and so our produce is, is really good, the gardens are looking fabulous. So what I'm going to do is tilt the camera a little bit, just so that you can see my chopping board, and then we will start. So just bear with a mo, there you are. That should be my, tighten it up. Right, so here's the, here's the board and here we're going to start. Now obviously you know how to chop lettuce, so I have started by chopping up some lettuce. Um, there's three different kinds there and, and uh, that is what's in there. You can make it, if it's winter, you can look at doing kale, uh, spinach, uh, anything like that. That is your dark green leafy vegetable as your base and it can be either raw or if you just blanch it a little bit, especially kale, it will just take that bitterness off. So into that I am, and I have actually pre-chopped these as well. But this is bell pepper, or capsicum as we know it, and this, is, this particular one is the yellow one. So in that goes as well. Next thing I'm going to put in there is, um, I'm just going to break some carrot, uh, and which is easily done. If you have, it's, it's really making it up from leftovers. So you can put vegetables in here as well. Like if you've had sweet corn, you've got a little bit left over. You know, you would throw that in as well. Um, that's not as much in there as what I would normally put. I'm more conscious of the noise of the grater, actually, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and in goes the tomato, because obviously we're going to, uh, as I said, it's summertime. So we're going to um, chop the tomato up and put that in here. Um, I'll tell you what, the type of tomatoes that are really yummy, and that's those tiny wee little cherry tomatoes. They are corker in these bowls, they're just so yummy, because you can actually um, uh, throw them in whole. And they're so easy, easy to eat. So, but we're going to put the tomato in. So as I said, winter time, you can look at your base as being leafy green vegetables. You can add things like um, cooked quinoa. So if you have done quinoa the night before, make sure you do more. And then you've got some for your water bowl the next day. Um, and it doesn't have to be heated. It can be cold if you want it. So, uh, now the next thing I'm going to put in is some nuts. And the reason, I'm, and these are cashew nuts. Um, you can put any nuts in, you can do a, a, a mixture of nuts if you want to, but uh, I like to put in um, nuts because it also uh, has the um, fat content in it that you need, and the cashews are great for calcium. Um, when I've finished I'll actually go through the different minerals and uh, nu the nutritional va value of um, the different foods that are in here. Uh, but yeah, I like to, I like to chop my I like to chop my these up uh, for my body bowl simply because I use a fork. Um, and I know that in America that's basically all you do use a fork. But uh, in New Zealand we tend to sit with a knife and fork. So, so I tend to chop everything up. So in the nuts go. Quite this down, so the next thing that's going in here is, uh, is my parsley. And I just absolutely love parsley. I am a, 
I, I can say it everywhere that parsley is just the most beautiful, beautiful food ever. It is so old fashioned and it, um, it comes in and out of fashion every so often, every, every so many years. Um, but it is such a powerhouse of, of, of nutrients. It's unbelievable what's in parsley. So you've got iron, it's rich in iron. I mean, just look at the colour of it for a start, tells you that. Um, plus it has uh, B12 in it, and a lot of vegans really stress out about, you know, not getting enough B12. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's like parsley, it's, it's just amazing. So I chop parsley up quite fine, simply because um, I don't like it, uh, if, it, if it's big, it tends to stick in my throat a little bit, so that's why. And I'll tell you what, if you have children and you're doing parsley, um, you know, chop it up really fine as well for children. Uh, but parsley like this, you can put it into smoothies or you can you know, put it in. I, 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 honestly, I've got everything. I love my parsley and I never go anywhere with it without my, my parsley. So, the next herb I'm going to put in is going to be, so you, the butter bowl is now shaping up, looking pretty good. So the next one I'm going to put in is some chives. These, are, these ones in particular are garlic chives and uh, I just tend to, to chop. Cut, you can put them in however you want to put in. Um, I love the flavour of chives, and I do use chives a lot in lots of different things. Um, especially great in uh, scrambled tofu, um, mashed potatoes, and yarn. And I must admit that my preference is the garlic chive variety as opposed to the plain. But that's just a personal preference, okay? So that's that in there. Next thing I'm going to put in is an orange. Surprise, surprise. You can easily put a piece of fruit in, and at this time of the year, I would normally put in a strawberry. But um, uh, I only had, um, sort of only had, I've only just had a couple of strawberries so far, um, and of course the bees are getting them. So I'm just doing this really, really quickly. Um, Another great combination with orange, if you want to make this like a little side dish or a side, a side thing, um, is orange and uh, dates. So orange and dates go really well together. Again, probably another pretty old-fashioned thing, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's yum, absolutely yum. In this butter bowl, I could easily put dates in the butter bowl, not a problem. Uh, but I don't have any dates because I would only use uh, fresh dates. Um, I would, in this circumstances, I wouldn't use dried dates, so it would only be um, fresh dates. But yeah, no reason why fresh dates couldn't go in. Let's go to rinse the board. Chunks go in. Which is nice. 
Now you see, if I was here and not actually on the video, I would be one for the bowl and one for my mouth. But I'm being nice. I'm being good. I'm being very, very good. The other thing you can do, there's nothing stopping you from grating a little bit of dark chocolate in. You can put anything in this bowl at all. As long as you kind of, you know, once, once you get used to making them, I tell you what, the sky is the limit and you can just do whatever you want in it. So now I've got two more things I'm going to put in. This is on the end of a, um, of a vegan sauce and cheese that I made recently. So it's just the last, the last of it. But this is made with tofu, uh, cashew nuts and miso. So there's quite a lot of wood. A lot of goodness in there as well, but it also has a good fat content too. So I'll just put that in on the top like so. So it looks all pretty. And then it is on it is on YouTube for heaven's sake. Oh, must lick the finger. And then to finish it off, I put in I'm putting in some microgreens. Now I actually grow my own microgreens. Um, they are so dead easy to, to grow. Um, you will, they're just really, really easy to grow. And you can grow them all year round. And the beauty of microgreens is that they are absolutely packed, chocker full with, um, with nutrients. They are much more nutritious than the final vegetable that they grow into. So they're really just kind of like the little, um, where am I? The, they, they're kind of like the little seedling. If the, or before the little seedling, that's really what they are. And they grow in different products. They grow. Um, I mean, this one here is still quite a little baby, actually. But they're just powerhouse full of, of, of goodness. Okay. And then um, to top it all off, I am going to add some. Pretty, pretty little uh, violets. Now, violets are exceptionally good for um, as a blood purifier. They are, they're not overly strong in taste. Um, I'm not one for peppery. I don't do big peppery things. If you wanted to, you could add chilies and, um, you know, you do the flavour up to how you like it. Uh, so, it's, it's um, but the violets are... They tend to blend into your salad, but use them. I mean, you know, if you've got violets and violets, usually grow um, uh, like in the wild. Uh, so they are, you know, and they're, they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So there's my Buddha bowl, and I'm going to finish it off with, I'm going to dress it with um, a little bit of oil that I had a little bit of basil pesto left over last night. And so what I did was I've added some oil to it to make it a dressing. So it has sat with this basil pesto and so it's beautifully infused and it smells gorgeous. And I'm just going to drizzle that over here. And that's going to be my dressing. And I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of Himalayan salt and a little bit of black pepper. And that is... So hopefully that has given you some ideas on how you can mix and match, how you can um, just get creative. Uh, you can have fruit in there, you can have vegetables in there, you can have grains in there, you can have anything that you want. Um, I'll just shift the camera back up again um, so you can see my beautiful face. There you go. And that's it. It's like it's so dead, dead easy uh, to make. And that's taken me probably all of about 10 minutes or 15 minutes because I've been talking as well. But uh, it's just what is in your um, kitchen fridge, what's in your garden, and what is in your pantry. And this creates everything. But the two things you need, don't forget, are the protein and the, um, the fat content. So... I hope that's been really good. I want you to have great food, enjoy life, and um, be compassionate to all animals, including humans. Bye.